Hundreds gathered in Gaza to hold a commemoration ceremony for the police officers killed during Israel's 22-day war on Gaza. 130 police officers and cadets were killed on the first day of the war, including the chief of police. The police choir also lost three of its members during the war, which Israel says it launched to stop rocket fire from Gaza. This event was held to honor the Gaza police officers and their families for their great sacrifices. The victory achieved over Israel was made possible by our martyrs. Activities and puppet shows were held to alleviate the suffering of children of police officers who lost their fathers to the war. Families of the victims demanded that those responsible for their grief be brought to justice. The world should push for the destruction of Israel's nuclear weapons and they must bring Israeli leaders to justice. My son was only doing his job. Why did the Israelis kill him? He was a civilian police officer. Poems were recited and speeches were made in the honor of the fallen police officers and to assert the police department's determination to protect and serve Gazans. Mothers of the slain police officers said that their sacrifices would not be in vain and that their grandchildren would continue to fight for liberty. My son was killed, but hundreds will replace him. His children will one day grow up and defend our homeland. And all the children you see here and their grandchildren will continue to fight until Palestine is free. There are many bereaved families in Gaza as the Israeli offensive left nearly 1,400 Gazans, mostly women and children, dead. Now, the only thing which will give comfort to those who have lost their relatives in Israel's war is watching the trial of Israeli leaders in international court. They have pinned hope on those who are working hard to bring to trial the Israeli figures behind the offensive on Gaza. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV, Gaza.